Hey everyone, it's Michelle from Cake Craze. Welcome back to Damn Sweet Honesty. Today's topic is all about when you should start a business. So I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that maybe do caking as a hobby or it's just a passion of yours that you like and you're thinking, how do I turn it into a business? So today I've got a few tips for you that might help you when you're transitioning either from a hobby or maybe from another job into caking full time. So my first tip is all about being trained and skilled before you start the business. So go and do all the training, go and do all the classes, know exactly what you're doing before you start that business. Now you might have made cakes for friends and family and little celebrations and all that kind of thing for many years or maybe for not so long. But what you need to do is be super skilled at what you want to do so you can start that business off really confidently. That is the biggest thing that I can say to you. And you know what, your training doesn't stop when you start that business. It should be a continuous thing because there are always so many new techniques and new products happening all the time that you really need to learn about and that you're probably going to get asked for from your clients. So the next thing is to know what you need to start a business. You need a business name. You need to register it. Where are you going to do your caking? Where is your business going to be? Is it a home business? Are you going to go into a shop? Do you need to look for something? You need to know all those council requirements and all those legal things that you need to do and put in place. You need insurance. Is it part of a shop? Do you need stock? All those kind of things. You really need to come up with a business plan and maybe talk to a business mentor as well or do some business skills training. So there are a lot of uh, places that offer business training. So make sure you invest in you and invest in your business before you get there. Because once you're in the business, it's a lot harder to do those things. So if you can do it beforehand, that is going to serve you so much better. The other tip I have is if you are coming from another job, maybe you have a full-time job or a part-time job and you do caking on the side, something like that, make sure it's a good transition into having your own full-time business. So my story of gradual transition into my cake craze business as it is now, is I used to be a dancer and a dance teacher and I had a dance studio for 11 years. So caking was always my hobby since I was very, very young and I made cakes for friends and family. And then I decided to get a little bit more interested and I was like, what is fondant? You know, how do I do that on cakes? I really want to take my skills to the next level. So what I did was I was still dancing. I still had my dance studio and I started training. I went to Planet Cake in Sydney and I trained there for nearly a year and a half and I juggled dancing and teaching and caking. And it was about two years of juggling after um, I was fully trained. But I also interned at Planet Cake and then I got a job there. So I was working there four days a week as well. So I had to eventually give up my dance studio to transition into caking and it was just a really natural progression but if I wasn't trained before I went into this business I wouldn't have the confidence to be where I am now I wouldn't be where I am now so I'm really glad that I did all that training I transitioned from one business to another so I had all my basic business skills so I've had a business for 18 years now, basically. So it's really important that you know what you want to do before you start that journey. So I knew I wanted to get better. I knew this was something I was super interested in and I've been creative with my dancing and art and photography and all those kind of things. And I knew that I now wanted to focus on caking. So I took all those steps 
and found out all about the industry and everything I had to do to start a cake business. So if you just want a part-time business, that's fine and you can juggle both. But if you want to go seriously, professionally into a full-time business, make sure you make that transition really smart. So what I mean by that is don't just quit your job and the next day you're gonna start a business. You need to build that business up gradually, build up your clientele, think about all those things that you need to do. You have your business plan, you know exactly what's going on. Maybe you've joined business groups or you have other cake friends, you can ask advice, you have a mentor, something like that. You need to know exactly where you're heading and what you're doing before you get there basically. And if you take that nice, easy, gradual transition and build that up over time, then that is going to serve you so much better than just jumping straight into it. So having that plan and knowing where you're heading is a really great tip. The other thing is you also need to have capital and money behind you to start a business. So you need to think about advertising, you need to think about all the supplies and the ingredients and the setup that you need. All of that kind of stuff takes a lot of money and you definitely don't want to forget about the advertising and the marketing point of view and how important that is right at the start of a business as well. Um, the other thing is, I think that you should really network with other business owners and speak with them. Like I said, get advice, have a nice support group, you can bounce your ideas off other people, all that kind of thing. And if you have like-minded people that are in your industry as well, join the cake groups, join uh, women's business groups if you're a woman and you want to be nice and empowered by other women around as well. But there are so many different groups, social media, all that kind of thing that you can jump in, you can get the support, you can ask for advice, all that kind of thing, which is really going to help you as well. So if you follow those things, I'm sure you will have a really great business. So just remember all that planning, put all that planning into effect and then take those steps to make it happen. And if you're confident and you're skilled and you're trained and you know exactly what you want, you're ambitious and enthusiastic about it, good luck to you and I hope it really works out for you. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Cake Craze channel. Give us a thumbs up, leave any feedback or any questions that you might have about starting a business and I'll see you next week. Happy caking.